Hey everyone, welcome back to another video tutorial series. Today I'm going to be focusing on the TD Ameritrade API. TD Ameritrade? Why would you spend any time on that? Isn't it kind of old? That's true. If you pull up the Wikipedia page here for TD Ameritrade, you'll see that it was established nearly 50 years ago and it looks like it's based in Omaha, Nebraska. So why wouldn't you use one of these modern Silicon Valley services like Robinhood or Alpaca that offer commission-free trading? Well, today I'm going to argue there might be some good reasons for using the TD Ameritrade API. So let me talk about that real quick, and then I'm going to show you how to use Python in order to trade stocks using the TD Ameritrade API. So first, let's talk about some of the drawbacks of building a trading bot on top of the Robinhood private API. If you watch some of my earlier videos, you'll notice that I use the package Robin Stocks here in order to place trades for both common stock and option trades using the Robinhood private API. Now, while this actually works, you'll notice that uh, all of these packages are built upon a private API, which means it's not officially supported by Robinhood. And even some of the documentation for these private APIs say, consider this project dead. And this is because Robinhood can change their mind at any moment. They can change their endpoints or shut these things down if they want to. So if you're trading with real money, you might not necessarily want to base your entire uh, trading strategy with your money on top of a private API that's not officially supported, even though it's technically possible to do it. A second reason why you might not want to use Robinhood is because Robinhood actually had multiple outages recently. So if you go back a little over a month ago, you'll remember shit was hitting the fan and the stock market was crashing. I have the CNBC article pulled up here where Robinhood goes down again, causing clients to miss out on another historic trading day. And not only was it uh, an outage, it wasn't the first outage. Robinhood's outage comes after days of technical problems starting Monday, March 2nd, when clients missed out on the biggest one-day point gain in Dow history. So when, whenever you're, ha when you have an automated trading strategy or you're placing a lot of options trades, you cannot afford to miss out or have an outage and not be able to access your account during a historic market decline or a historic market melt-up. So, uh, this instability might give you some reasons to uh, pause before you base uh, your options trading strategy on top of the Robinhood private API. Um, I live in the Bay Area over here in San Francisco, and a common motto from people like Mark Zuckerberg is, while you're in a growth stage, you want to move fast and break things. Well, if you're moving, if they're moving fast and breaking things for a service like you know Facebook or Twitter, maybe this doesn't hurt you. You can't get your status message uh, through at any given time, and you can just show you know, a fail whale or the Reddit, a cute logo of Reddit going down. But uh, when you're trading trading stocks, you know, you're, tra you're putting thousands of dollars on the line. You can't be like, oops, my service went down. So that's another reason you might want to value an, an old service like a TD Ameritrade that has a long history of stability. A third reason you might not want to use Robinhood is because you lose a little bit of control over your options trades. If you look through the Robinhood subreddit, you'll notice a lot of people who didn't like the fact that Robinhood sells their option an hour before expiration. A lot of trading activity actually happens in the last hour of the trading day, and a Robinhood just automatically sells the option an hour before at the bid price, which might not be what you necessarily want. You might want that extra hour uh, to, to have control over your options trades and with Robinhood you don't get that control at all. So given the limitations of the Robinhood private API, why not just switch and use one of these newer commission-free trading APIs like Alpaca? Well, if you watch some of my previous videos, I did exactly that. Uh, one of my most popular videos is actually uh, from Alpaca, and they were one of the first to link to my channel, so I'm very grateful for that. And I really love this service, and I'm really bullish on what they're doing, and I have an optimistic outlook. I love that they provide a commission-free trading API that's well-documented uh, right here on their website. That said, it's still a very new and growing company and there's a lot of limitations so far because they don't yet support options trading, which is becoming more and more popular among just regular retail traders. So until they add options trading and some other features, there's a lot of people that don't want to use the Alpaca trading API. However, it is really good because they provide uh, web sockets and real-time real -time stock data in a feed that I showed in one of my previous videos. And their API allows you to easily uh, buy and sell and place bracket orders on common stock. So if that's your use case, then I highly re recommend Alpaca. It's actually easier to use than the TD Ameritrade API. 
However, uh, this set of videos is on uh, TD Ameritrade and what it has to offer. A lot of people don't know that actually that TD Ameritrade has one of the best APIs. However, it's a little bit intimidating and hard to use at first, and that's what I'm going to clear up. So before I dive into that in the next video, I'm just gonna give you a few, few reasons why you might want to use TD Ameritrade over these other services. Um, the first benefit that Robinhood provided was that it offered commission-free trading. So that was the main selling point. But you'll notice as of last year, to me, TD Ameritrade actually dropped to $0 commissions as well. So it's a really that great of a benefit to using Robinhood other than it has a better mobile UI. So Ameritrade is not only well-established, it's been around nearly 50 years, it's mature, and now it's actually commission-free. So uh, what about the API? Do they actually have an API? And yes, if you go to developer.tdameritrade.com, there's an API section here. And if you dive into it, you see that it's actually very powerful. So some of these features that we were missing from Alpaca, they actually provide them. So if you look right here in their API, it's documented and it's supported by the company. Uh, you click on options chains here and you see um, some APIs for options. And you'll notice it has a lot of powerful features here. Not only can you just see the price of an option, you can actually filter. So you can specify a strategy for like strangle and butterfly. You can uh, specify a range for the options you're interested in. So if you want in the money or out of the op out of the money options, you can filter on dates, volatility. Uh, there's tons, tons of features in here, and then we'll explore those um, in a little bit. In in a in the probably the third video, we'll get into that. Uh, you can look at your account's transaction history. You can get quotes. Uh, you can build watch lists, which is you know a pretty simple feature. Uh, and uh, what's actually very powerful is the order, the ordering API. Uh, so if you click on accounts and trading. Um, you can actually place an order, and they have this very robust uh, set of JSON for actually placing orders. So you can see, uh, you can place very complex orders here. So you see options like covered, trigger, manual, uh, order leg collections. So there's lots of different uh, strategies built in here. So you can make your orders much more complex than just placing a simple market or limit buy order or a simple bracket order. Uh, there's just very, there's many, many options here. So I, I'm gonna take time to explore a little bit uh, of the functionality in here in the uh, follow-up videos. So um, that's it for this video. I just wanted to, to briefly introduce the TD Ameritrade API and explain to you why you actually should care about it and why you might wanna use it over Robinhood or another service. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a, a TD Ameritrade developer account create an authentication token, how to create an app, and how to authenticate and start using some of these API functions. So uh, that's it for now, and stay tuned for another video. Thanks for watching.